Okay, so our topic was IPv4. IPv4 stands for Internet Protocol Version 4, and it's basically the technology that allows dev uh, devices to connect to each other and identify each other. So it's a system of addresses, IP addresses, which are four decimal numbers separated by periods. There's an example in the bottom right, such as 127.0.0.1. .0 .0 um, it's basically done in the I in packet tracer, you can do them as well, um, in the IP config tab, and that's done in IPv4. Pros and cons. So pros are uh, it, support, it supports um, almost all systems. Um, uh, it's a reliable security that allows data encryption to maintain privacy and security. So cons are the limited number of addresses available, uh, less amounts of bits than the other IP V6, uh, needs to be configured manually or through DHCP called dynamic host configuration protocol. Um, how does it work? So a unique number is assigned to every device which makes it recognizable to other devices. And it functions in the internet layer in the TCP stack, which is essentially a set of internet protocols. Um, after being configured, other devices can recognize the device by the number it is given, which is a public IPv4 address, and it performs logical addressing and packet routing. All right, so the difference between IB, IPv4 and IPv6, if you, if you are using internet or almost any computer network, you will likely use IPv4 packets. Um, IPv4 uh, uses 32-bit source and destination address fields. We are actually running out of um, like addresses, but have like we're, we're not scared of it. So the IPv6 uh, packet doesn't look much like it's IPv4, except for the leading version field. So the IPv6 uh, addresses fields are 128 bits. So the larger address space is one reason to migrate to IPv6, but there are many more differences that give IP. V6 an advantage, for example, the header checksum field has been eliminated because transport reliability has gone up and its overhead was unnecessary. And the, the movement to IPv6 on a global scale is inevi <laughs> inevitable. Uh, it has been more of an issue of getting the infrastructure in place to make the move to, to cause a minimal number of problems.